Hey there everyone and welcome back to a brand new GameMaker 2 tutorial and today we're going to be looking at toggling inside of GameMaker. Now if you guys don't know what I mean about toggling, it's basically checking if something is true and if it already is true, it's going to change it to false, checking if it is false and then it's going to change it to true. So in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at the aspect of full screen, which is one of the main things that people want to have in their game, the ability to have their game in the full screen at 1920 by 1080 aspect or turning it down to maybe 1280 or 720 or whatever other setting you want. So the first thing we want to do in this tutorial is we want to go into the window settings and if you guys are wanting to do the full screen um, you need to make sure that in here you have the allowing of full screen switching and for today's tutorial we're just going to start off our game in full screen so that's everything you need to do in the game options and i have set up a small room well it's actually it's not that small so 1920 by 1080 room so basically it's the resolution of my monitor that i'm using right now so it's going to fully fit the screen but if you guys have a different resolution of monitor make sure to change this to what your main one is but if you are wanting to make your game for um other computers that use 1920 make sure to set it to that so the only thing we need in this game is we're going to need an object called obj underscore controller or you can call it obj underscore full screen if you want a separate separate object just for the full screen but for today we're just going to call it a controller and then we're going to go into the create event and in the create event we're just going to set full screen to true. Now if you guys were making a game, um, like the game that I'm making, you might want to make it a global variable and then save it into a folder so every time the person launches the game, it's going to launch in full screen and they don't have to redo the settings every single time. But just for today's tour, I'm just going to show you it in a local variable. So the next thing is that we're going to go into the step event. And as you guys know, if you have watched my previous tutorials, you do know that I like to set up keys that are kind of shortcuts for that tutorial. So today we're going to be doing key, uh, key fool, and it's going to be equal to keyboard underscore check underscore released. And we're going to do board and then F. So if you guys want to do any of the keys, basically from Q to M on the keyboard, you have to make sure to do ORD and then put this in the brackets. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move down and we're going to set up where if key fool. Now the common mistake that some people make when they do toggling tutorials or toggling inside a game maker is they'll do it where it's and, for example, if full screen was equal to true. That isn't what you're going to want to mean want to be doing. Sorry, I'm fumbling my words. That isn't what you want to do. You want to go back and you want to do if key fool and you want to open it and in the next statement you want to do if full screen because you can put two ifs inside of a one if statement or more. You can put infinite ifs basically. We're going to do if full screen is equal to true it is going to set the window underscore set underscore full screen to false so it's basically if we are already full screen we're going to set it that we don't want to be full screen so it windows the full screen and then it's going to window underscore set size i'm going to set it to 1280 by 720. now if you guys can set this to whatever you want or you could also have a case where it would set it to different things if you wanted it to cycle through resolutions instead of just 1280 by 720 or 1600 by 900 but i kind of want to keep it in the 16 by 10 aspect just for other people to have monitors similar to mine and we're also going to set full screen to equal false and then we're going to close that we're going to do else if full screen is equal to false so it's now checking if the full screen is equal to false so if it isn't true it's going to completely skip over this and then it's going to go straight to this if it's already set to false and we're going to basically just going to do the reverse we're going to set full screen to uh, true and then we're going to click full screen to true now you don't need to set the window size in this one you just need to set it back to full screen because then it'll go back to um, the full screen that you already have set up in the room and then we're going to close that off and that is absolutely everything we need for the tutorial so basically guys if you were going to toggle it for anything else you just change this to say audio settings or any aliasing or anything you just have to switch all the words and then switch the local variables as well but then we're going to go into the room make sure this works i'm going to put a controller object in there i'm going to go ahead and launch the game so i'm just going to wait because it'll take a second uh, so yeah, there we go. Now we are in the full screen, so we press F. One second. There we go. And as you can see, it is now in windowed mode. And if we press F again, my screen's gonna go black because OBS records it really weird. But it's gonna go back to full screen, F again, and it is back to windowed mode. So that's the easiest way you can do it. You can use the same 
um, code here if you were to do it, for example, in like a, if we did, let's do global left released, oh no, sorry, left released. As far as I know, if we put it actually, yeah, if we put it into the left released, actually no, oh yeah, no, that would work. If we put it into the left released, we go global, mouse, we do left released, we just take this out, we copy this, we put it into here, and then we're gonna go ahead and, oh wait, why isn't that working? If full screen, full screen, oh, because we don't need this extra one here. Um, yeah, so if we launch this as well, I believe, if we go into the game, we should be able to just click, and it's gonna set it to windowed as well, and if we click again, it does it to full screen. So that would be really useful if you guys had a video settings inside your game where you wanted the player to be able to change it from full screen to window and you don't want to have the F shortcut where you can just change it from window to full screen. By the way, sorry for dragging on a bit guys, but I just want to fully explain this tutorial for you guys. So again, just replace all of these if you want to have it in any other way, but this is how toggling works the simplest way that I can think of inside a game maker. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial, as always, make sure to go and leave a like and also subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.